and I had a bag of pretzels, three bags of peanuts, and coffee this morning. So any sounds like airport. Yeah, airport food. What? Sounds like airport food. Well, I didn't. I didn't know. So anywhere and any time you want it. I got a bunch of stuff at home. Oh, okay. That's fine. the Cox, the Prado Cox thing, I mean, am I gathering in your lease it says there's this there's master single, big, yeah? There's an outline and it says it's right there. So somewhere they, along the line they removed the service. Is that what you're kind of implying? Part of the, the rent or? Yeah. Yeah. Should have the ability to receive over the air signals. Okay, well, I mean, I've been looking at it, sort of following it, but I was like. Yeah, pretty much the rules and restrictions, you know, they're, they say that you can't install an antenna and all this other stuff. And rules basically say that to where I can install one, I would not be able to receive any signals. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, even last time I was here, you were... But in addition to oh. the, the fact that they've been receiving revenue sharing with Cox over faulty billing. Yeah. Well, so I mean, it's, it's beyond that. It's just, you know, a bunch of greedy fucks. They don't give a shit. Well, I mean, like I said, last time I was here, there were some channels you couldn't get, or... Yeah. Is that part of this? Is that what you're... Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. They never, they never enabled the channel codes for, like, more than half of the HBO channels that I paid for. Ah. Uh, and they didn't okay. do that for the four years of the service, and they didn't tell me until December. And then I'm like, give me a refund for all the years of service that was not enabled for. And they're like, eh, we're just a bunch of douchebags, we don't care. And at which point I decided to say, okay, I will put my entire email database that I've you know, amassed in my dealing with you online. Congratulations. So it's the combination of the people that own the complex and or just yeah so there's like a revenue sharing agreement basically that says that Cox shares revenue based on how many tenants oh. access the cable system which is wired to the complex okay and so basically more services more whatever more sharing right yeah yeah well, I'm surprised nobody else well, maybe they people said anything. people are not as savvy as myself, Dad. Well, no, I'm not questioning that, but I'm saying if I lived there and didn't know, you know, and I'm trying to get certain channels, somebody would figure out something's wrong, right? Yeah, you think that, but, you know, I also asked them to certify the services before entering my apartment, and they didn't do that. You know, and they come back to me and they say that they didn't enable the channel codes and all this other stuff. But anyway, so like a couple weeks ago, I filed a BBB thing with your business bureau. Oh, okay. And so I'm still waiting on that, but, you know, Cox still markets to me heavily, and every single time they do, I reply to them, stop, and they refuse to listen, so... All right. At well, some point, I'm just going to send them a bill. Hmm. Put it in a fucking lake, just for... Yeah, they're, they're building a lake. They've ripped out wild rivers, right? Well, yeah. And so now they're putting in 2,400 apartments, that gaudy-looking lake thing that's going to be in front of the giant wall. 
and then look how cramped that exit is, and there's no room to expand ever. Yeah. So who's planning this shit? <laughs> and why are they getting paid so much? To fuck everyone's future. Well, it looks more like a water collection thing than a lake. No, it's gonna be a... I'm guessing they're gonna fill it. No, oh, no, I, I mean, I didn't... This was a lake. It looked yeah, like... but from the depth of it, it's like they're gonna fill it. Oh. 